Hey everyone, it's technology expert Burton Kelso here with another tech tip to help you get the most out of the technology in your life. Today we're going to talk about the Do Not Call Registry, a website that allows you to block those annoying calls. That's a great way, resource for you to go to if you are getting a large amount of spam calls, but it may not be the end all to end all. So I'll show you about the Do Not Call Registry and we'll talk about what you can do to uh, eliminate some of those spammy calls that you may be getting. We're going to switch screens like we always do and we're at the Do Not Call Registry website. Do Not Call uh, Registry can be reached at the do not call .gov. Uh, This free website allows you to report unwanted calls. It also allows you to verify your registration and you can register, uh, register your phone. Uh, as the website says, it gives you a choice about whether to receive telemarketing calls or not. Uh, you can re register both uh, smartphone and uh, landlines, um, and you can um, uh, make sure that you're not getting spam calls. But does the Do Not Call Registry website work in every instance? I'm afraid not. There are certain things that a lot of people are doing out there that are uh, allowing those spammy calls to come in. Let's go back and explore the do not call registry so that you can get your phone set up um, and then we'll talk about other issues that you can deal with now you can report unwanted calls by clicking on the report unwanted calls button what it will allow you to do is to continue and um, it hopefully will block your number so you can put in your number or what the number is uh, when you receive the call tell the uh, Federal Trade Commission if it was a recorded call or a robocall or did you receive a mobile text message too which is uh, important uh, once you put all that information in uh, it goes into the FTC database and uh, hopefully it eliminates all of those bad calls in let's say you want to verify that your number is registered uh, you basically put in your phone number in the verify your registration box and your email address and you'll receive an email letting you know that your verification is right and that your number is on the do not call registry now finally if you want to register your phone uh, you can click on there uh, you can verify if you registered your phone if your number is not on the do not call register you can click on register here we'll ask for a phone number and email address and uh, you'll receive a message from uh, do not call dot gov now keep in mind uh, when you register your number on the do not national do not call registry it can take up to 30 days for that number to show up so don't be impatient and wonder why you're getting those uh, spammy phone calls even after you register your number now the do not call registry is not an end-all as far as smartphones are concerned um, as far as well not as smart far as smartphones but as far as uh, spammy calls are concerned there are other ways that your phone number gets out, out there on the internet. Uh, one of the things that scammers can do with phone numbers uh, in order to gather them is they have software that will come up with every combination of a phone number and it will do a robocall uh, to your uh, cell phone number. Sometimes it'll get by the do not call registry because hackers will go in and they will spoof specific cell phone numbers or they will trick your caller ID into making you think that it's a local number as opposed to um, a regular business number so if it's a local number chances are you're going to pick up that phone and answer it as opposed to a number being from an out-of-state zip code um, the other thing that is happening with spoofing is that uh, not only are old landlines be are being spoofed but cell phones are being spooked too. So uh, many of you may notice that you are getting calls from um, a number or people will say they're getting calls from your number when in actuality you've never made a call. Uh, to verify that your cell phone uh, hasn't been hacked or compromised, you can always call your phone provider to verify that no outgoing calls have been made from your cell phone. Or, and also to make sure that a spammer hasn't taken care 
or taking control of your cell phone account. So um, the other way that you can be uh, compromised or to get your number on a do not call list is whenever you register for an online service or a shop at an online store, part of the terms of agreement with that is that uh, you are agreeing that the company can use your phone number uh, for telemarketing purposes and that they have permission to sell your information to third party vendors. Once again, putting your phone number on someone's call list. So when you sign up for online uh, shops or online uh, services, make sure that you take some time to read the terms of services and the privacy policy to make sure that your information is not being shared. You would think that most companies wouldn't share that information, but for a lot of these companies, it's an additional source of income or income that allows them to um, or that encourages them to sell that information on. So keep in mind that that your cell phone information uh, does go out in other parties and it's just not those telemarketers out there that are gathering your number um, and that they're registered with the do not call list. So be sure that you go visit uh, the website, a national do not call registry, because it is a good idea to go ahead and register your phone number on the site because eventually the Federal Trade Commission does uh, collect all that information. And the other thing you can do too is if you get an unwanted phone call, be sure to report it so that it can be on the national do not call list. Uh, it's, it, with the way cybercrime is and phone numbers are, it's going to take a lot of us or all of us out there to work together to make sure that this sort of thing doesn't continue to happen because we all know that those unsolicited phone calls can be obnoxious and annoying. As always, if you've got comments or questions, leave them in the comment section below. would love to hear from you to find out what type of scammy calls you've gotten and what you've done to try to help protect yourself. And if you've got comments about what other tech tips you would like me to feature in future videos, uh, be sure to share those in the comment section as well. Uh, be sure to subscribe uh, to our YouTube channel. There's tons of videos like this one that are out there designed to help you get the more most from the technology that you use and follow us on social media we're always keeping you up to date on all social media with um, all of the current tech crisis out there and new tech tips to help you get more from the technology that you use day to day as always take care of yourself and do many things to make you smile and thanks for watching